wild flowers, uh, but we do sometimes grow them as a cultivated type in our gardens. When they're in full flower, they can look marvellous en masse. And I'm going to show you how to go about painting this very loose, unstructured painting of foxgloves. I'm sure you have them um, wherever you are, or something similar worldwide. Uh, but I will be posting some resources, some other pictures to show you. So what it is, it's a tall stem with this lovely trumpet type flower which enables the insects to fly inside and collect the pollen. They come in mostly this sort of purpley colour but sometimes they're whiter or they're pinker and they can, as I say, look absolutely beautiful when they're in a large group. So where am I going to start with this? Well, I'm going to start, strangely enough you might think, with the background. I'm using a large brush, uh, number 10, something like that. And I'm going to, to start with, um, get some wet on the paper. And I'm going to use cerulean to start. So let's just get some colour in, we can see what we're doing. My main fox glove is going to be off centre, unlike that one. So what I'm going to do is just effectively make an outline with the blue, okay? So don't get too uptight about it. That's the sort of structure, a bit like a Christmas tree really, but if you think about it that way it'll help you to see the form. And I'm just going to drop some blue in there. So this is going to be a very relaxed wet into wet painting we're going to have some in the background I don't want it to be too um, structured I suppose, too, too precise. I want really the, the paint and the water to tell me where to make the marks. So let's just get some water on that just to soften those areas out. I'm going to make this the dark side as it were, the light, let's have the light coming from that way. So I'm going to drop some more colour in. Woo! See how that runs. Just going to make a few, few shapes as I go. Let's drop a bit in there somewhere. bring some colour down here because when I come to doing the greens I'm going to use a mixture of the cerulean and a yellow so I might as well bring some of the blue down and you're probably thinking that looks like absolutely nothing on earth and you'd be right but don't worry about it we want to work in a more intuitive and spontaneous way. We want to see what the paints and the water present to us. I've got an idea in my head, but I'm not going to slavishly follow anything. Now, I think I want more area there for perhaps some more foxglove. So I'm just going to lift some of that out. Lift a bit more out here, okay? Remember when you're painting you can put on and take off. Let's just even that out. Okay, now I've got the cerulean blue and I'm going to take some cadmium yellow might as well mix it on the paper here so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And why that's still wet, 
I'm just going to drop some paint in there. See what it tells me. Maybe there's some leaf structures or something like that. Let's just have a sort of an idea of a stem there just to get us started. I'm quite happy just to let the paint make the marks. Don't want that too strong. That's far too thick. Just want the idea. See how easily that's lifted up. They can be quite forgiving. Make a sort of a leaf structure there. Now, I know the um, little buds that originally covered the flower are quite limey green, so I'm going to put a few of those in now, just to give me a marker, and also because I want it to play about with the paint a bit if it wants to. It's like a little hat for a fairy. Just give me a, an idea. still fairly wet, very wet in areas. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to just drop some clean water in. And I'm going to take a little bit of the pinky mauve colour I'm going to use. I'll just drop in a few flowery triangular shapes and see what happens. I think you could call this a watercolour that's going to paint itself. <laughs> don't fret, don't worry. If, you know, you, at some stage you're thinking, oh, this is looking such a mess. Yes, there will be stages like that. But it's okay. Because at the end of the day, it either works and you're happy with it, or it doesn't, and it doesn't matter. People put themselves under a lot of pressure when they're painting, and uh, there's no need for it. It's supposed to be fun. I just love watching all those colours run around. There's the trumpety bit. Let's just there we go, make a trumpety bit. Let's put a bit over here. Yeah, as I say, some of them tend to be more white, more pink, all sorts. I'm just going to, while that's still wet, go in with some more of the blue to make the greeny areas. And now I'm going to just let that dry and we'll see what we've got when we come back and I'll start building up the colour.